Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about the gizmo, the pivot, the symmetry, the world center, object center, and uh, symmetry center, and so on. So it's um, a very confusing topic. And yeah, sorry, I try to explain it. I, I try my best. So, okay. Here you see um, a nomad sculpt scene. So I start here to explain first here the gizmo. Here uh, the, the gizmo tool is selected and the gizmo is not a point. The gizmo, yeah, it, sometimes it's a point, but in fact it's a tool. So it's a tool to um, place your object in space. So you see here in the matrix um, um, a translation value and a rotation value and a scale value. So it's a tool to position and scale your object in space. So yeah, it's not the object center, it's not the world center, it's a tool. So, okay. Here at the moment, this position here is the world center. This uh, small red, mm, yeah, this thing I delete. So this small red thing here represents the world center at the moment. So I select it and you see here in the symmetry menu um, a method here and um, at the moment the symmetry is local but you can set it to world and now you see here um, your symmetry is in this position. So when you move your your object here the symmetry stays in the world center. So when you switch back to local your symmetry switches to the object, to the local symmetry, but the world center stays here in position. So I put the world center back so that everything is correct. So the next thing is this mesh here. You see here, here is at the moment the symmetry local and the, this blue cross here is the object center. So the center of the object. Okay. The, the gizmo here is at the moment at the bottom position. So the, this bottom position is the pivot at the moment. So you can change your pivot position to every point uh, you want. So you can bring your pivot outside the object or somewhere um, inside the object you want. And you can rotate the, the pivot like you want. So, and the pivot is like a, a anchor point. So you can use this um, position and when you use it insert and uh, as a instance, for example, you can use this pivot point. Um, you see here the object center here and the pivot point is at this position where this, this pivot is. So, okay. So the next thing is the symmetry. So you see here this object, um, on this object here you see here the, the pivot is here for this object, the symmetry is on this position and the object center is here in the center of the cross. So you can place every point where you want. So first, the pivot point here, it's uh, possible to reset the positions here and you can use here um, such a, when you tap with your finger, uh, you can place the pivot, but object center stays in position here. 
So, and when you play, uh, press here center, it jumps back to the center. And you see here, at the moment we are in front view and the symmetry here, the X is not correct. So when I select the other object here, you see here the, the X plane of your symmetry is in the object center and correct aligned to the front view. So when I select now uh, this object, um, so the pivot is uh, not correct aligned and the symmetry is yeah, off center and not correct. So how to fix this? So here in the gizmo settings there's a baking option. So all the translations and rotations and so on um, where it's set it to zero and one. So when you press here bake, so here you see the values are zero and one. So now it's possible to reset the center point of it's the pivot point to the center in the correct orientation. So now you see the pivot is correct aligned. <coughs> Okay, the next thing here is the symmetry. So for the symmetry, there is an extra point and you can edit this point. So when you press here in the symmetry, the gizmo edit option, you get a, uh, the gizmo appears here and it's possible to, to place the symmetry on the point you want. So you can rotate this and yeah, place the, the symmetry, here you see it. So, and when your object is baked, then it's possible to reset the orientations and the, the, the center position. So when you press now object center, the symmetry jumps back to the object center and you can reset the orientation. So now press reset orientation and it jumps back. So I go a few steps back. So before baking, now it's um, the object is not baked. So when I use here the um, the, sorry, I the gizmo edit, so this one, so this is my symmetry at the moment. I place it here. So here's the symmetry and baking is not yeah, done. So when you press here orientation, it brings the orientation in a correct alignment but um, yeah uh, sometimes it doesn't work and uh, object center um, because um, the X plane is um, not correct aligned at the moment so I hope you understand so first you have to you have to bake your your thing and then center the pivot bring back to the or in, um, to the object center and then align the symmetry back so and then it's possible to move the object back to the to the world center it's a very confusing thing and um, so yeah um, and the last thing here is so I show it on this object So we change now the pivot and we, we rotate the, the pivot like this. And now watch this um, uh, matrix here. And when you use the green dot, you see here 
at the moment there's a skew option uh, or skew row here and watch also the symmetry plane so what happens so when you skew it symmetry rotates in this direction and yeah, the skew row appears so okay now you see here now baking is possible so bake and now this happens you see here um, the symmetry jumps were somewhere in space here or yes you have to think about a, a box uh, around your object so yeah and then the next thing is here object center orientation yeah and you can set the pivot to the center correct aligned and bring back and move back the object to the world center if you like so yeah yes yes it's not easy to understand i think but i hope it helps a little bit and have fun with sculpting ciao